Welcome. This is Morgana Star, and um, I'm trying to get adjusted. <laughs> okay, guys. I am one of the leaders here in Awaken Your Intuition, along with Dana Deva, who's here in spirit because she always is. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to talk today. <clears throat> excuse me. A little bit about what's in the pictures. Uh, we're noticing a lot of people, and I'd love to hear you guys' comments. Uh, a lot of people are um, talking about the um, posting pictures. I love it. I love it when you guys post the pictures here on this dot, on this page. Hi, Star. And, um, and get opinions of others. Oh, so what is this? Um, I remember years back when I was awakening. Hi, Pamela, um, that I um, was taking a picture and I thought it was this great orb in the corner of the room and I was like, oh, I'm so excited, da da da. Found out later it was just a, the flash. Hi, Eva, thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, so, <laughs> uh, not that there's anything wrong with it, because it is exciting when you get the visual representation of a spirit coming through. Um, but it's it's not always a spirit. So I'm going to give you guys some hints, uh, some things to look for when you're uh, looking at the pictures. So sometimes I've had a picture where there's like this squiggly line going through, white squiggly line going through a picture. I'm like, whoa, was that a, um, hi Melita, uh, was that a spirit zipping by? Oops, it was a hair from my head over the camera lens and the flash illuminated it. So, you know, a lot of people think because I'm blonde and, and um, because I just talk to the angels. Hey, Miss uh, Sabrina. And you know who I'm talking about there. Um, it, let's debunk these things first. It's kind of like when Dana and I teach, we're like, always get these things like the ringing in yours. Check it out. See if it's tinnitus. Check it out with the doctor first. So try to debunk yourself. Uh, and that's kind of fun as well, especially when you find out, oh, there's nothing there to debunk. Give you a hint about doing the videos outside too. So if you're doing a video, you got a flash and the flash is illuminating anything moving around outside. So if it's outside, <laughs> hi Kathy, Heather, um, the flash may illuminate a bug that's flying all around. So pictures, videos, and pictures outside aren't always um, orbs, and they aren't always spirits. This is why being a medium and developing those gifts is amazing, because you're going to be able to speak to them anyway. Pictures for videos. Uh, hey, Sonia. And I'd love to hear some of you guys' experiences of taking pictures and, and seeing um, either orbs or or spirits or manifestations uh, but the pictures uh, they're hard to catch an orb so but it is it does have to do with flash so if it's a dark room with a flash here's here's the key make sure your fans off you can hear my uh, air conditioner in the background so if I wanted to get a video in here I turn the air conditioner off there's no wind blowing around so we're not going to illuminate the dust in here because that'll happen. You're going to see something go by and you had a fan going or you had the air conditioning going and the flash illuminates off of the, um, the dust spot and um, then you think it's an orb. But the interesting thing about orbs, and I know you guys have seen pictures and I'll, I'll have to post some for you guys at some point. Um, you can see definition in, it's almost like a snowflake. And you know how you see snowflake and they all look a little different? So it's the same thing with an orb. You're gonna see a definition in there. Now don't get caught up in seeing whether there's a face in the orb or not. 
We're talking about spirits. Spirits have left their freaking body. They don't want a face anymore. They're tired of the human uh, constructs that we have with our physical body. Boy, and Nell's heating it up here. And like I said, I do have my hair conditioner on. <laughs> uh, and the angel and Nell that I work with heats up, heats me up really fast. That's part of her healing energy. So, um, and she also illuminates when it's a truth. So again, I was just speaking about how our brain wants to interpret the pictures that we see that are spiritual. Our poor little baby brains, that's what Dana and I call our little brains sometimes because the angels are coming in here and trying to rewire. And they've also told us that if we were to see spirit in the true form, especially angels, it would freak us the frack out. So that's why sometimes we see them um, a little differently. So uh, yeah, Natalia uh, is our manager assistant uh, and she just said any questions on the topic, feel free to ask. So Donna, you said, I don't see them in pictures, but sometimes upon waking up, I'll see a huge, very golden orb um, floating on the wall in front of me and then it disappears 30 seconds or so. So the fact that you see an orb physically shows that you're very, very gifted, Donna. Uh, most people do not see them. Even psychics don't always see orbs uh, with their physical eye. So that's awesome. Amazing, girl. Um, time to develop those gifts. So then you're seeing them. They want to communicate with you. And colors are important. So I'm glad that you said this. Oh, Star, you said 100. Have 100 of orb pictures while you're doing healing. Um, and that is true. When you're doing uh, healing either in the um, remotely or physically you know one-on-one -on -one. you get all sorts of helpers and I'm sure star you have experienced this before where um, the angels come in and take over the healing session and um, and so they, they let you take their picture and that's another note so let's say I'm gonna take a picture in here. I got my air conditioner off, so I'm not gonna get a picture of my dust. No one needs to see my dust, uh, especially me, I don't want to see it. <laughs> um, so when it, um, when I take, I'm gonna ask permission. So I will do this. I'll say, is there someone out here that wants to speak to me? Would you let me take your picture, please? May I take a video of you, please? Now that's just polite. Sometimes we forget politeness with spirits. We would never, well, hopefully, never think of taking a picture of someone if we just saw them randomly walking by. We would say, well, can I take your picture? Um, I do get a kick out of people because when I go out and about because of COVID, I wear a full PAPR unit. Um, and <laughs> I had some tourists taking my picture randomly the other day and I stopped and I said, oh, you want to take my picture? I'll stop so you can. And they were, and we had a little conversation. It was very nice. Do the same thing with the orbs, with spirit. And you're going to find when you respect them, they'll go, ooh. She respects me. I'm going to let her or him take my picture then. Again, works best in a dark room with a flash. And if you are doing a video, even better. I've gotten some of my best orb pictures by snapshotting a video. So doing a video and then doing screenshots of the orb that appeared. Because you think about it, they flash so quick and they're already gone by the time the picture snaps. And, um, and then again, let's say they go like this, or they go like this, straight lines. Usually it's straight lines, not an orb, unless you're seeing a definition, really strong definition. Have a, a video, uh, have to unearth that sometime, Natalia, um, on my porch. Um, and again, like I said, you got to be careful doing it outside. I ask. If anyone wanted to show themselves and this 
it came up like this, stopped, went this way, up, went back, went a different direction, and it was a definite, um, you could definitely see inside that orb. Um, infrared video is also very good. Most people don't have infrared video, but that is a good way to, to see them as well. Um, and STAR mostly while working with cancer patients is what I gathered you were saying, is when you were able to do the orbs. You know, when I, I was a massage therapist in um, Indiana for many years, and um, mostly became a massage therapist because I wanted to do the hands-on Reiki, and that was a doorway in. I would do a session and somebody would then finally open their eyes or I'd just do the healing part. And they'd be like, I don't know how you could be in three different places. I, I knew you were at my head, but I felt you at my feet. But that's because I invited the other helpers in. And there have been a few people that were, took videos that also got uh, some of those orbs captured in that that came to help. Uh, Donna, I know the colors of orbs have different meanings. I love that you said that. The color of the orbs do have different meanings, but nothing is set in stone. Again, they all have personalities. Now, we can generally say blue is an angel, gold is an angel, but it may not be. It may be a very ascended uh, spirit. Um, so that's why I love mediumship and helping, um, Dana and I love helping our clients develop their mediumship abilities, because then you just ask the spirit, well, who are you? You're like Donna, you can just say, and, and the reason I'm doing this is you need to write it down. So be ready to write down the answer, because trust me, you aren't gonna remember it afterwards. Even if you just record it on your phone, good, do that. So say, I, I really appreciate you coming. This is for your golden orb next time it happens and you can don't even have to wait for it to happen say you know there's a spirit here with a golden orb and I really appreciate you coming by I'd love to know who you are do you need my help is there something you want from me how can I be of service because I'll tell you right now Donna they're not coming to you because you're a normal human being I want you guys to hear this if you're having experiences like Donna, and Star already knows this about herself, you're not a normal human being. You have a grand mission, a grand purpose, and it's time to embrace that. Um, that's why Dana and I have our online training courses. Uh, Sonia, when my daughter was young, she told me, she would tell me the light fairies were all around and she, her and she wasn't scared. I love that. You know, I was raised by um, a very religious preacher, but he also introduced me to the world of magic. And he always said, because we lived up north and uh, the fireflies were just the fairies with their lanterns going to a party. So I learned at an early age that there was mystery and wonder in the world. Um, and so just expanded on that and hey Wendy glad that you're here Gabby and uh, Kelly Sabrina going through a name change I'm calling you out because you are so freaking amazing and the fact that Kelly Kelly Lay, 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 Lee is um, crying again means there's a lot of release of emotion and as we are talking about spirits and being able to see them and being able to communicate with them, it is what I want to call all inspiring. You're connecting with the other side on a way that no one else has in your lifetime, possibly in your family's lifetime. Now, everyone is going to see spirit a little different. And hey, Amanda, thanks for coming on. Um, there is, keep having fun with it with the spirits and um, ask for their pictures. And they're not a, um, oh gosh, you guys are going to find out 
how passionate I am about uh, rescuing souls. They're not an amusement. They're not an attraction in a zoo. And a lot of paranormal people that do paranormal research, that's what they do. I'm just going to go prove it. I'm going to go yell at them. I'm going to make them come and da da da, take their picture. I'm going to do all these things. Um, they're screaming out for help. And you're treating them like a sideshow attraction. One of these days, our bodies are going to be gone. And we're going to appear like an orb. And we don't want to be treated that way. Let's have some respect. Now, I know I'm preaching to the choir here. So, um, I'm not concerned about any of you that are watching this live. But we really want to educate people that these spirits need our help. And Donna, you said you've taken mediumship classes. You know you have this gift. Now it's time to dive deep time to dive deep into your development and many times people that have the gifts don't clear their own gunk so they don't even know how to interpret spirits and it's a lifetime thing we have many people in our mastery course year-long course on uh, and they're always working on this uh, development uh, in their mastery uh, our eight-week course clears out past lives, um, uh, inner child work, shadow work, reprogramming your nervous system and your mind. It is deep work that we hold your hand with. We help you. We guide you. It's, uh, it's not for the faint of heart, and I don't want to scare you off, but I know you guys are here for a reason. You're watching this video because you care about souls. I was going to say humanity, but souls are human too. And um, I love this, uh, Eva. Cardinals are your spirits. Yes, cardinals will come in that way many times. And fireflies being angels. They're, they are magical. Um, Kathy, uh, the acknowledgement of the spirits not being sideshows and stuff. You know, I'm going to tell it, share with you an experience. And this is what slammed me upside the head the first time. Many years ago, I was back um, in the, um, in, no, I was in Ohio at that time. I was living in Ohio. Um, oh, gosh, how many years ago was that? 15 or more? And um, I was working with this paranormal group. And we kind of slid in under the cover of night to do some rescue. But what happened was there was this hotel, haunted hotel. They advertised it. They paid for haunted tours. And, um, you know, of course, people are taking pictures. They're oohing and aahing over the orbs and stuff. I'm not sure I can get through this without crying. So they said, oh, come and see this little spirit. She's trapped under the stair. She hides there. We call her Little Miss Sunshine. She goes back to the days of the Underground Railroad, and she's just looking for her family. How wrong. There's a little child. I don't care that she didn't have a body anymore. And they were making money off of her. So people would come and take pictures of her, hoping to catch the orb of her energy. And she just wanted to go home. She just wanted her mom and dad. So guess what? We didn't tell them we were doing it. We slid in, we rescued those souls, and well, they had to close their hotel down because they didn't have any more hauntings. <laughs> so that's a good side of it. And after that, it's just like you, you can't do this to, to human souls. It's wrong. All kinds of wrong. All right, I'll get off my little high horse there. Um, and Cherry, you said, I've always had the gift. I just need to work on it more. And again, sweetie, take our mastery course. If you go to Awaken Institute, the Awaken Dash Institute, Natalia, maybe you could stick it in the comments, um, dot com. We have a free masterclass, and I've been posting it on the page from time to time. Dana and I spent 
days putting that together for you guys so that you could kind of get a taste and get some guidance and when you're really ready to develop your gifts and help some of these souls um, then um, book a call with us and we'll see if you're a good fit for that course um, thank you uh, star you just sent a photo in a church teaching cancer healing I love that you're doing this uh, star gosh you know um, Sabrina it's it's a really uh, emotional day uh, uh, Sabrina slash Kelly uh, works with uh, Archangel and now as well and that energy that mama energy tends to be very passionate and very emotional um, but back to you star and the reason I'm getting emotional here is we need you Dana and I can't get to everybody everyone watching this you can't get to everyone that's why we created Awaken Institute to come together as a team as as a unit to support each other to show everyone that the spiritual community is united and we're loving each other and we're supporting each other and star your superpower in healing is amazing and so I give you much love and respect for that and as much support as I can um, and Heather, um, yeah, she's a member of our mastery class too, and we love her. Um, okay, Eva, I've seen spirits and angeling so beautiful and felt very calm and loved. And yes, um, it is a feeling of peace and love, um, and that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And Star, you said that each spirit must be sent into the light, cute or ugly. And you're right. Spirits that were human do. Now some were never human. And Dana and I meet with a lot of entities. And they can't go to the light because they're not of the light. But we can redirect them. And we can give them love. Because they're scared. And they're acting out. They're like bullies. And that's where you may see something in a picture that looks a little bit scary. It may not be an orb. It might be a reflection. It might be something wonky that looks like a person or a dark shadow. And um, guess what? They're trapped. They're scared. They don't know where they are. They need counsel. They need to know that they're loved and respected. And then when that happens, the angels come in and help guide them to a better place so they can start evolving and help the world. Um, let's see, Eva, you said you did that and I debunked everything. I felt sad. See, spirits, I'm not sure what you referred to because I don't want you to feel sad, baby. Um, thank you for Patricia for coming on. Uh, Natalia posted that uh, Kathy yes we are going to relaunch she said I need you need to do a TV series where you help spirits find the light and help them find their family help tell their stories not like the jerks on TV or currently try to prove they exist we all know they exist yes we do and they're trying to yell at them and make money not help for the spirits we actually have two episodes already filmed of course COVID kind of slowed it down and um, uh, because they are very professionally done by a wonderful videographer friend of ours um, we uh, we still need to pay them though <laughs> so we're looking for some sponsors for that but we're going to relaunch um, uh, Awake or Angels Unveiled and Dana and I are going to start talking about that and trying to teach people how to um, how to do this in love how to help those spirits and you know Kathy a lot of the times Dana and I have been interviewed by uh, some um, some big name TV uh, places I'm trying to think TLC was one of them uh, but they want drama and if I see a scary spirit scary maybe it's got fangs and red eyes or something I'll say um, who are you what are you doing? I'm not going to go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, <laughs> they seem to want the, oh my God, oh my God. But 
they feed off of fear. So that little, um, you think of it again, a bully. A person becomes a bully. And they become a bully because they were mistreated. So think about this for a moment. Here is a 15 year old bully beating kids up on the playground and energetically follow him home. He goes home to a dad that's a drunk. His mom's a drug addict. He gets yelled at. He gets beat on. And he, that's all he's ever known his whole life. So he's repeating the cycle. And that's what happens with these spirits. It's all they know. They don't know love. I had an experience with my uncle, who I didn't know in this lifetime, but got affirmation about him later. That was attached, his spirit had attached to me. I'm not gonna get through this one without crying either. What happened was, um, I channeled him. I had an amazing teacher that was counseling. And after the fact, he uh, shared with me what had happened. But I still do remember this is the first time I saw heavens open. I saw Jesus standing there. This poor soul was afraid to go to heaven because he thought he was bad. He'd killed himself. And he was taught that if he killed himself, he was going to hell. And he was so scared, he attached to a member of the family. And I remember his feeling of uh, incredulousness when he's like, God loves me? God loves me? Jesus loves me? And then the heavens opened and he saw Jesus standing there welcoming him and all his family behind him, behind Jesus. And so he left. Now, physically, the energy was attached here. And the next day, I went to my job that I had at that time. And someone came up to me and goes, what would you do different with your eyebrows today? I hadn't done anything at all different with my eyebrows. But the energy had released. And so she saw, felt the difference. This is a taste of what some of these spirits, when you take the pictures, are. They're lost souls, and some of them are not. Some of them have crossed over, and they're happy, and they're joyous, and they have messages for you. So it's not wrong to take their picture. Just ask permission first, and then you're going to get the right ones. Uh, Margarita, thank you for being here. You And this group is awesome. We have amazing, amazing people in this group. Um, and uh, Star, you're talking about you teach 33 forms of exorcism since 1978. Ours are totally, or I can't say that ours are totally different, so, because uh, I don't really know how you teach, but ours are all, and I feel like yours is too, in the space of love. It's not the, the screaming, spitting, pea soup. I, I, got, I got my own little ghost here. Here she is. She's a little fur ball that likes to be on um, around everything. And she thinks she can't get up in the chair next to me by herself. So I don't know how she got spoiled. Someone did it. <laughs> um, so, and yes, Star, uh, we would love to have you sponsor us. Um, let's um, set up... Uh, uh, Natalia Angel will get with you and let's see what we can do and Kathy you do remember Angel's uh, unveil so we're looking forward to that as well um, Natalia's keeping Dana and I on track so that we can be of service to all of you now our shop is still open and our girls are there and wonderful but most of our energy is online so we can serve more people uh, Kelly, Sabrina, uh, empaths need this class in their life. You can 
find peace within yourself and then you have the energy to help those beautiful lost souls and and Kelly's done that um, and we're so very very proud of her Eva bless your little heart this is why I, I love you you said you paid for a haunted house tour and you wanted to help the spirits but it was smoke and mirrors you just wanted to help them um, yeah, they don't always take kindly to um, mediums going in helping rescue the um, spirits that they're making money off of. Uh, and a lot of it too is there's there's a lot of backstories to a lot of these haunted houses, and they're really not haunted. And also, I know this firsthand from a house that we went and did some clearing work with. Um, they wanted to come in because uh, Tim, my life partner, is. Um, the uh, head of the Florida Paranormal Research Foundation. He started that over 20 years ago. So Dana and I have learned a lot from him. And with him and his team, we went in and did this clearing in his house. And they contacted the team to uh, this TV show to, I'm not gonna mention them, poor little souls, um, to go there and film. So they did and um, the worst part of it was that the owners were very upset because they messed up the house and they planted evidence. They said they saw them put things in places and then pull it out like, oh my gosh, look what we just found. And it was planted. So yeah, a lot of smoke and mirrors going on in that. I, um, not sure, stop making faces, I know who you are is a good statement. Oh. <laughs> As being really blonde star. I'm like, am I making, yeah, I do make faces. <laughs> I realize you're talking about the spirits. Um, I had one that was attached to someone and it tried to freak me out when I saw it because it came up with the fangs and the scary eyes and all that stuff. So I asked it who it was and he, he goes, I am Beelzebub. And this was all internally. Uh, and I'm like, no, you're not. Instantly, he deflated. I felt bad for him, actually. His head went down. He didn't look the same anymore. He looked like an old man in a coat. And I, he goes, no, no, I'm not. And I said, you need to leave. This person came to Archangel Anel for help. And she's going to help you. So you need to pack your bags and go and take all your little friends with you. And he left. And guess what? person felt wonderful they didn't know really what happened because if I'd explained all of that they could have freaked out but she felt amazing she goes I think I feel like I've lost 50 pounds guess that spirit was kind of heavy huh um, so um, yes there we got that connection so any other questions you guys have uh, just I really love you guys posting on the page and uh, keep posting keep getting um, keep getting um, validation and reach out to Dana and I we've been doing this over 50 years combined experience and we're constantly getting new information downloaded from the angelic realm uh, so it's blowing our minds some days and this is why we love working with our students online. They're the first ones that get this information. I think our mastery uh, students today got some new information from us as we just got it. We're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Um, so some of the things that you've read, even down to the chakra colors, they're not right anymore. They haven't been right for a long time. And how to work with those. We'll be doing more videos like this. If you guys enjoyed this, let us know and we'll pick some different subjects and and uh, work with you. Um, Eva, I had a bad spirit jump me. What an experience. Yeah, <laughs> been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and a shrunk a few times. Um, but my guardian spirit helped me along with some other people. So good. What happens, um, oh, I got, I got distracted, sorry. I'm, re I'm reading the comments and talking at the same time. Don't work for me. Um, with working with Archangel now, if you guys don't know who your angel is, talk to her. She'll bring whatever angel you want. And we're talking about the mama. This is the feminine side of the divine. This is mama God. 
and uh, this is not the other side of Haniel. This is the same name, different angel. And um, she has me gritted up so much, I can channel and be a voice for some of these bully spirits or demons, if you want to call them that, and help them find resolution and give them validation for who they are. Uh, and then leave the homeowners. We had one that that happened and um, we didn't get the video of it, but the candle was flickering the whole time that I was channeling. They told me that afterwards and Tim was counseling the spirit. And when he left, um, candle was burning properly. Um, but the best part of it, we got that spirit to a happy place and the people slept all night long. It was a single mom with kids and they had not slept all night for years. And they were sleeping good after that and felt wonderful. So, um, and I don't know about the target date. Natalia is the one that's managing us. You can all pray for Natalia. <laughs> she is a saint. Um, and we're, work we're working very hard on it. We're also getting ready to relaunch Angel Whispers with some new content. Excited about that. We're going to talk to our publisher tomorrow. Um, so, uh, Star, bless your heart. You, your energy is not at the, um, bi I'll call it the bio age of 82. Um, you are um, an ancient soul, but um, physical body, you still got a lot more time on this planet to help a lot more people. So keep taking care of the physical body, please. And Eve, I'm so glad you um, love our store. We love we love what we do there and helping people. And it is a temple. Well, you see, this is my uh, I call it my temple room back here. And my pup is opening and closing the door. I could say that was a spirit, but let's not do that. Um, Anel, uh, Eva. Oh, see Natalia. She's also so amazing. Um, that's the name she chose this lifetime. She's had many names, many lifetimes. Aphrodite, Astarte, Athena, Isis. Um, beautiful, beautiful mama, loving, healing, and protective energy. So um, keep taking, taking your pictures, sharing them, we pop on as often as we can to comment on them and help guide you guys. Uh, take our class, our master class, my little baby. Oh my gosh, I just, Kathy, what am I supposed to do with this little fur face? Look, look in the camera and say hi to everyone. She had a bath yesterday and you can tell this hair, she's a Bashan Frise and this hair is, something else <laughs> so she wasn't happy with her bath and blow dry yesterday no it wasn't yesterday it was Saturday and she didn't talk to me all day yesterday uh, I got the cold treatment but <laughs> fortunately I have good self-esteem but she she goes in and out and does whatever she wants um, so guys thanks for coming on uh, keep coming with the pictures the comments the questions and know that you're waking up this is a strong year for everybody. If you do your inner work, you clear out those old patterns. Aw, thank you, Kathy. Um, hey, you know what, Kathy? I'm gonna post uh, a picture from Halloween. Uh, Tim found a little outfit for her and he said she wanted to look just like her mama. And you may have seen that before. Um, and um, I want to honor Kathy for the gift from your mama, your sweet, wonderful, powerful, loving mother that um, our little, um, the bowl, uh, the singing bowl, it stays in the store. It's used many times a day to raise the vibration in the shop. So um, your mama is still working and spreading her beautiful queen fairy energy all over Cocoa Village. So thank you for that. 
and um, I will make sure that I tell Athena that she's beautiful. Of course, she thinks she is. Anyway, um, sorry, I'm wiggling around because I'm sitting on my exercise ball. Natalia, um, um, oh gosh, I was going to say influenced me. That's kind of the word, but inspired me to, I heard her, that she was doing that. And I'm like, you know what? I need to do that too. It'll keep, help keep my lymph going and um, all of that. But sometimes <laughs> I think I'm going to roll off of it. Coordination in me is interesting. So love you all. And we'll talk to you all soon. Uh, yeah, your mom, Kathy, your mom does love that. And we feel her. Um, and she's still around you guys. So love you all. And we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.